Okay, hi everyone. Today I'm showing you guys how to do a dynamic dependent drop-down list in Google Spreadsheets. If you don't know what that is, um, it is when you make a cell or a list dependent on um, another a value from a different list. So for instance, let's say we have a series of makes here. Uh, Honda, Hyundai, and Ford. So here's Hyundai. I want it only to show the models that are created by Hyundai. Uh, and here's Sonatas, and then the different years associated with that model. All that information is here to the left. Notice that for each make, there's a model and the year. And you have multiple models. Excuse me, you have the same model, but different years. You have multiple, or you have the same makes, but different models. Uh, so let me go ahead and get rid of all of this and show you guys how to kind of start this from scratch. It's just your data. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, uh, here's the group make, the subgroup model, and the uh, sub subgroup year. I'll go ahead and select the fields that we need. That'll be make, model, and year. And I guess the output will be sales, if you want to do a lookup later. So um, you could, the first thing you want to do is input the data validation for model, or excuse me, for make. And here it is. Notice that although this has uh, repeated values, when you do the data validation list, it only pull out unique values. Notice that there's only unique values here, even though there's multiple from um, the list, this list over here. So let's go ahead and let's say forward. Now, what I want is on here, I want to select only models created by Ford. So that would be Mustang, Focus, and Fiesta. What I, how I, what I need to do to achieve that is use the filter function. So I'm going to make a new list where it changes depending on what I pick in cell G1. So I'll use the filter. I want models, and I want that to depend on the make being the same as my lookup here. And notice it returns just Fiesta for Focus and Mustang. But like I said earlier, when we enter a data validation, it won't pick up the duplicate values. It will only have unique values in it. So now I have a new dependent list, and we can check to make sure that works. So for Ford, we should only see Fiesta, Focus, and Mustang. Perfect. And if I try to pick Hyundai, you see that there's a little red tab here showing that Mustang it's not a model created by Hyundai. And so only Elantra, Genesis, and Sonata are. Now you can do the exact same thing when you want to pick a year. And I want that the year to be, the year to be dependent on the model. So I'll use the filter function where I select the year based on the model being the same as my lookup value. And then I'll make that uh, list J to J excuse me, my new data validation list. I hit OK. Save. And now I have only the years. And then I can use the filter function to look up the sale value based on the three lookup values. So filter. The sales based on the model being the same as my lookup. The model being, oh, excuse me, the make, the model and then the year. And we can check to see if that's correct. Hyundai Sonata, Sonata, 2001, $870. Perfect. So let's go ahead and change that real quickly. Make that a Ford, 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 Mustang, 2002, $802, is that correct? Ford, Mustang, 2002, $802. $9. That's, that's number of sales, so number of people that bought it, maybe at the car dealership or so. Um, and of course, you can always hide this these list or put it in a completely different list, or excuse me, spreadsheet to make the, everything look a bit nicer. All right, good luck.